So we have um, toast with hollandaise sauce with poached egg and ham for breakfast at Bella Italian. Have a cappuccino. This is Rosie, everyone. <laughs> Rosie has the same, but she has the juice as well. So. Market called Dirk. We'll let you know the gluten free and everything, so we're just gonna go in. Rosie has found the gluten free section. They've got loads of stuff. Look, well, a lot of a shah, which we all love. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, a little section which is really good. So, yeah, have a look and let you know what we get. Just come out. Too bad, we spent about 20 euros, right? Yes. So we'll show you all when we go back to the hotel, but we are currently about to go to the McDonald's, um, which we're very excited for because apparently there is gluten-free buns. Woo! So we're at the McDonald's and then we walk in and look at this sign. We both got so excited. Gluten-free. I'll show you what I get. So um, this was what I got from McDonald's, curry sauce, a bit different, got some large chips, I got the Coke and I got a cheeseburger which was gluten free and it was really really good. Curry sauce wasn't actually a big fan, it was a bit peppery compared to the one in the UK, <laughs> Rosie's sat here right now and Rosie got kind of the same thing but obviously gluten version. So guys this is it, is the packaging any different to cheeseburger? No, looks like this. Yeah so you can tell it's different, I'm just scared. I'm just scared that it's not gluten free, so it was get like that. I like, it just tastes like a cheeseburger, but it's gluten free. And at least they have buns in this place. I'm annoyed when every time I go um, to the one in the UK, there isn't any, so love it. So we're going to give you a haul of what we got at Dirk. And they had a gluten free section, and this is our little haul. So me and Rosie and what exactly we got, so here we go. First thing is some green grapes. Syrah bars, these are Rosie's ones, so I can't eat these ones. <laughs> we got some carrots. <laughs> we got some of these, which are chili rice crackers, and there was a three for five pound deal, so Rosie's gonna throw the other stuff, but um, three for five pounds, they look really nice and they're gluten free as well. This is all the gluten free in Dutch for you, so gluten free, wheat free. I put it all on the screen now. Dried banana and fake MMs. <laughs> then we've got gluten free um, cereal bars, or whatever they are, we don't really know. Um, they're from cereal, I've never actually seen this brand before, but we'll see how these are. Oh, I didn't realise, I thought this was multi pack. No. Oh, that's good. Yeah. We've got a massive bag of pom bears. Oh! <laughs> that's cool, huh? Then we've got some water because we can bring this with us and also, um, you know, we've got water for like when we're back here. So we spent about 20 euros, like so just under, like for all of that. And obviously we've halved that, so sorry, yeah, euros. So that's 10 euros each about, which I think is not too bad. Um, but this is a little room tour. So it's so small, so it's literally not gonna so, be like. This is our room. It's a twin. You've got this. In here's a cupboard with a safe, which is always important when you go away. Um, mirror. <laughs> Beds. Um, light, which is good. Got a TV, but it doesn't work. <laughs> and then, look at our view. We're right by the canal. It's so nice. And the Anne Frank house is literally just over there. I had a look, it's literally round there. Mm. And then, come through here and this is our bathroom. Now we don't, <laughs> I'm just, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even know that. So in here, you know, basic thing, but this shower, we don't understand because there's no like stopper for the water. So it's gonna come all the way out here, but we'll let you know anyway. But yeah, so we've just been kind of looking around, um, went by the canal. Oh, we went to McDonald's, we went to shop, we went to the supermarket. We basically just had a little wonder, you know, seeing what's around. Um, we're planning on going out again in a minute, because we've only just checked in, so we thought we'd just chill for a minute. And we're going to go out later, huh? 
yeah we need to get in this outfit because we forgot because we're stupid so we're going to do that and then we're also going to work out where we want to go for dinner because there's loads of gluten-free places and i'm also going to link down below gluten-free cup of teas or becky her video on not her video her blog post on Amsterdam eating because it's so good and hopefully we find some good places from looking at her post but we'll let you know later on where we go to eat and stuff and also the McDonald's was really good I don't know if I said or not but it was very good those are cakes I'm getting this one later after we've eaten <laughs> our sandwiches it's all gluten free this place how good so here we go, here is the chicken, what is it? Chicken, onion and chutney. Oh, literally one of my favorite things. We've got ketchup and we've got some salad and the actual toasty. And honestly, the guy's really nice as well. I don't know what to start that, but there you go. I've got the red velvet. Rosie has got, Rosie's got carrot cake. Hi everybody, so it's the morning, day two, bounce the down box. And I am gonna be trying this bar, which I'm really, not looking forward to it if I'm honest. Cereal. Um, I don't think it's a cereal bar or anything, I think it's just a chocolate bar. Also, it's tiny. Look at that. I want to compare that to my hand. Look at that. Look at that. That's just no. Nah. Rose is doing her makeup there because she is here. Um, so I'm gonna try it, see if we what we think. A bit scared if I'm honest. That's a chocolate bar. It tastes like Nutella chocolate bar. Really? It's nice though. But it's not exactly breakfast. It basically just tastes like a Nutella like bar. I mean it's nice, but it's not exactly breakfast. It needs some like bread or something, you know what I mean? But it's alright. We had to have bananas yesterday and they taste really good, just like normal bananas. We've also got some grapes. Um, that we're just gonna eat. Um, last night's dinner, I don't know if I talked about it yet, but wow, it was so nice, wasn't it? Like so really, nice. really good. And the guy there, I don't remember what his name was, did he say? I don't think he did. But the guy was so nice. And the whole place is gluten free, um, so I see that friendly completely. And I 100% recommend that place, so I can't want to go back. And it's near the red light district. But yeah, so today we're just going to, it's a, the warmest day, so I'm going to get into a place soon, um, which I'm really excited for. And basically wearing shorts and stuff because it's supposed to be kind of warm. To be fair, no one else seems to be wearing it, but who cares? We're, we're, we're English. This is like hot weather for us. You've got to do. Exactly. Yeah, so we're gonna do that, and we're gonna go and head down to. Um, we think we want to go on. Is it a pedalo? Yeah. So we're gonna see if we can go and book that, and if we can't get it for now, then we'll book it for later or tomorrow, or whatever. And then we also, I want to go and find the. We're going to see the Fault in Our Stars bench, 100% today, because it's supposed to be warm, so we might as well like be outside, walk on the canals. Um, yeah, and just kind of see. Well, they don't take us, but let you know when we're heading out. And yeah, outfits from H&M. So we're all ready, and we're heading out now. Um, we'll let you know what we get up to. And yeah. Hey everyone. So currently, me and Rosie are on pedalo boats. We are pedaling on the canal, and it's actually stunning. We started at the Anne Frank house, which we saw. Um, and now we're just going along. We got it for an hour, 10 euros, and it's by Stroma. Please go and try this out because 100% worth if it's it. Sunny, if it's yeah, sunny. Yeah, because we've got the. We thought best day to do it because it's really warm. We thought it's just beautiful, and um, we've got some good photos. So yeah, it's just so lovely. And 10 euros each. That's nothing for an hour. When it's way more interesting than going on like a boat, like a boat ride. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it's so much better. And also you have to give a 20 euro deposit as well, but that's fine, like, we get it back. So yeah, I love it. Okay, 
Hey guys, the pedalo was so good. 100% recommend, don't you think? Mm, like, it really was, good. um, what was the brand? Sto Stoma? Stoma. Stoma. Um, and it's near the Yank Frank house, and the man was really lovely as well. Now we are off to this place called Suma. Oh my god, there's a horse and carriage. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so we're off to Suma, Sumo, which is a sushi place, and it's supposed to do some gluten free. And also, we're really feeling sushi, but it, we don't actually know where it is. It's like a 15 minute walk from where we're staying. Um, but yeah, we'll let you know how that is in a bit as well. So this is the menu for Sumo. It's also lovely in here. Um, so we've got all of this. Now, the problem is, a lot of it isn't gluten free. Like, there's not actually much that is. But on this side is an allergens thing. So obviously we're the gluten. And I'm getting the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the... Edenam um, beans, which I always have in Wagamama. And I'm also getting eight of the salmon um, sushi and you get eight pieces and you get one of those big bowls of that so so yeah um, that is what I'm getting um, we thought there'd be a bit more good every selection as like it'd been recommended but to be honest that's what I usually get anyway so yeah I'm actually quite happy about that and it's only about 10 euros which is really good Rosie's getting crispy chicken salad with What's the other thing? Eight pieces of salmon as well. So we'll let you know and show you where it's coming from. First up, the beans. We've literally been waiting less than five minutes, haven't we? Yeah. And that's very really spread of chicken, which obviously isn't gluten free, but. And here's our salmon. Mm mm mm. Mm -hmm. So we are currently sat at this place um, and we are having a Carol spritz. This is our first time ever having it. Opinions Rosie? Really nice. Yeah it's an alcoholic drink so under 18 people don't listen to this but just thought we'd show and we're right here by the river. Um, it's lovely. Then we in the evening went to this restaurant called Cafe Piazza and it had the biggest gluten-free menu I have ever seen. It had so much selection from starters to salads to pastas. It was a kind of Italian kind of restaurant. It had meat and fish, desserts like tiramisu. Oh, it was just incredible, the amount of selection. So we both got carbonara. That's the spaghetti, not gluten-free. And then this one is with um, the fish. The Facilli one it looks amazing. It's such a huge portion as well. Literally buzzing. We've just got some water as well. These are the steps. It's so far back. And there's three sets of them. Good exercise, but oh my goodness, it's so hard. Good morning. This is day three of Amsterdam. 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 Um, we are currently, it's about half 11, been to some museums and I forgot to say, last night we went to that cafe, Piazza. We went to this place and it was amazing. As soon as we walked in, the first thing they said was, do you have any allergies? How good is that? And we like gluten and they gave us a whole gluten free menu. So we're actually starving because those bars that I had on the first day, I don't fill you up at all, and neither do yours really, do they? No. And we had a few other things, but we're just really starving, so it's like probably about quarter to 12 now, so we're gonna go to Bagels and Beans, which does gluten-free bagels, I guess. I don't even know, I haven't really seen, to be honest. But yeah, we'll let you know how that is. Um, and yeah, we're just walking there now. It's like a, literally, it's across the road from our hotel. Like, we are not kidding. It's literally like a, less than a minute walk, so but obviously because we were at the museum, so walking back from there now, but yeah, we'll let you know how it is. So in Bagels and Beans, they had a menu, and in the menu it explained about gluten-free. So it said that they are gluten-free bagels that you can add. I think it was in about 60, 70p extra to have that, which I think is okay. I was having a tuna melt, so was Rosie, and there was a lot of selection. All we had to do was say, could we have it with a gluten-free bun? No, gluten-free bagel, and that was the only difference. I just thought there was a brilliant selection, and I know a few things definitely weren't gluten-free on the menu, but a lot of it was if you just swapped it out for a gluten-free bagel. 
And then I also had this drink, which I cannot remember what I had in it, ginger and lemonade, I think it was. Um, and that was really good as well. Look at this. Wow. My drink. Rosie's one normal. Yeah. Okay, so it's a lot later now, probably about four o'clock. We've just been back to Dirk um, and we've got some cheese, some rice cakes and some popcorn, which we'll show you in a bit. But we got back just to have a snack because we're really, really hungry. Um, we also went and did a bit of shopping. Rosie got a few things from H&M, did some damage. I actually didn't buy anything, which I'm very proud of myself. We also wanted to say that bagels and beans was so, so good. good. We got um, tuna melts and like drinks, they were so good. And to be fair, for the price, I thought it wasn't too bad. Oh but, but yeah, so definitely recommend uh, bagels and beans. Um, Dirk is also really good. And we are now going to go back and just have a little chill before we go out again, probably in a bit. So Rosie got some spicy thing. You literally can't see anything. And then I got um, some, what was it? Shrimp, creamy sauce, pasta, penne. You literally can't see it, so I'll put a clip in right now, a picture of it. Morning guys, day four. Um, it's the last day, I'm actually so sad. We literally just sat by the canal and I'm literally just like, don't wanna go home. But we are going to a gluten free, well it's not completely gluten free. Pancakes. Pancake place, it's called Pancakes Amsterdam. We, it's literally like a 10 minute walk from my hotel, like it's actually insane probably gonna cost like 20 yeah we don't care we're just we're just doing it for ourselves today um last night we were also very much struggling to find somewhere to eat like really struggled we're looking on uber eats we found like a gluten-free um pizza place and then it sold out of their their pizzas and we were like what do we do it's like it's half nine like seven hours literally yeah it's mad and we were like literally we were looking for ages for gluten-free and we just literally couldn't find anything which is really weird um, online and walking around so we decided to go back to that cafe Piazza place and I got a different pasta which was oh my god amazing I prefer hers to mine so yeah we had a yeah it was really really good and I had a fan as well because I was really craving something fizzy um, it was a uh, shrimp shrimp um, creamy tomato sauce penne pasta with courgettes Oh my god, it was so oh, nice. It, I really want to go back for it, like, yeah. genuinely. And I really liked it there, but it was very dark. That's all I'm going to say. Very dark. Like, I thought I was going to fall asleep. <laughs> because it was just so dark. But, it was, but yeah, so now we're off to the, um, the pancake place, which I'm very, very, very excited for. And um, we'll let you know how it is, and hopefully the bit free is good as well. So, at Pancakes Amsterdam, there was a gluten-free symbol to explain that there was gluten-free batter and the waitress explained to me what was gluten-free after I asked her that I had celiac. I had a cappuccino with banana pancakes. It had bananas inside with almonds and chocolate. It was, oh my goodness, it was amazing. Right guys, so just got out of Pancakes Amsterdam. Favourite place, love it. It's so, so cute in there as well, isn't honestly. it? And we got a key ring. Look how cute that is. It's one of those little so shoes. Like, uh, pancakes, Amsterdam. That's yeah. all it was called. <laughs> but now, because I wanted to get a little souvenir, and now we just got a free one. We didn't have to pay for or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm literally amazing. The group room so good with so much selection. Oh, love it. And as you can see, we li oh, well, I finished it. Rosie was defeated. Oh, was a car. Um, but yeah, now we're off to this gluten-free place that sells those um, those waffle things. I don't know what they're called, but they're called strong waffles or something. Um, so we are going to go and try and find the gluten-free ones. I'm going to buy loads so that I can bring them back to the UK. I'm very excited. Guys, we're in Albert something. And look, gluten-free. And look, we found them. Woohoo! Gluten-free ones, guys. Expensive, look, 329 but I'm getting them because whatever, you've got to try them once. Yeah, they've got quite a few stuff in here. for sesame. Nice. But yeah, very impressed. And it's their own brand as well. Right, taste test, guys. Mm 
I did not know I had stuff inside. So we are now in Wagamama's at the station and I am getting a Pad Thai chicken and prawn. I've never got it in my life, didn't even know we were allowed it. I had a look on the website, it seems we were allowed it. So I think Rosie, you're getting the same, right? Yes. Yep, so I'm very excited and I'll show you what it, is it looks like because I've never ever had it before. This is our view right now, I mean you can't complain about that. Lovely. And then we're gonna get the train back to the station. Wow, look at this guys, we both got the same. And it's already gluten-free, like it's already just, it looks amazing. We'll let you know how it is. Oh, I'm so excited.